Uh, I was eating a, a burger. Let's go boys, the Rare Quadrilogy, a UFC first, and it wouldn't make a lot of sense, but in this situation it totally does, right? We know the context, 1-1-1 one, one, and one is the record. Started with a draw, then a win, then a loss, and most recently Brandon Moreno did lose that fight to Davison Figueiredo, at least according to the judges, and Figgy was able to get back his belt, and the UFC made Brandon Moreno go earn it back, earn that shot back, and he did so just that against Kai Kara France. He finished him in the third round with just a beautiful body kick and showcased that he really wants that belt back, and or the real belt, I should say, because he is coming into this one with that earned interim championship, but he's going to have to try and take out Deus de Guerra, aka the God of Meat, and it's going to be a tall task, right, because Figgy's looking absolutely shredded at weigh-ins. He seems confident. I mean... At weigh-ins, both guys definitely looked game and ready to go, but Figgy does have that hometown crowd hype behind him, so it's interesting to see if that will play into it at all, but Brandon Moreno is no stranger in going into his opponent's backyards and finding ways to get this one done, and it doesn't surprise me that this is a true pick -em, right? I am a little bit surprised that Typology is... Uh, as bullish as they are on Moreno, I would have expected, due, you know, given the pick on that, it would have probably just been 50-50, but 57-43, I guess, isn't too, too far off, but 57% nonetheless is rolling with Brandon Moreno, 43% is rolling with Figgy, and obviously, you know, Meat is rolling with the god of Meat. I mean, he's been riding with Figgy for a super long time. I mean, way before this guy even had title aspirations, Meat was singing Davis and Figueredo's praises, so no surprise that he's going there. He thinks it's probably going to be a close, uh, gritty decision, but if Figgy finds a way to get a finish, then wouldn't be the craziest thing at all for sure. And I've been going back and forth in this one. I, it's tough to ever count out Deus de Gurira, but I got to roll with Brandon Moreno. I just, I loved what he displayed against Kai Kara France. And to me, this is a guy who at 29 to Figgy's 35, I think Moreno is just reaching his peak. And I think he's going to display that he is on that highest level and this is where we see I guess the relative decline of Davison Figueredo in the sense that he's still going to be one of the guys always in this 125 division but as far as him consistently getting better and better each fight I think it ends here and Moreno I think just levels up again gets that belt in this quadrilogy and ends the chapter so to speak because it's honestly crazy to note that Figgy hasn't fought anyone besides Brandon Moreno since before 2020 and had the UFC not asked Brandon Moreno to go through Kai Kara France then you would have been able to say the same thing for him as well. So a really cool situation here, a co-meet that I think deservedly will end in Brazil. I just happen to think that Moreno is going to spoil Figgy's party in this one. But again, if Meat were here and hadn't got burnt at the grill, he would definitely be telling you a different story. So let us know down low. Are you going to roll with the Assassin Baby in this one? Are you rolling with your boy or are you going to roll with Meat and you think that Figgy gets this done? And let us know how. Here I'm Hanky Kong! Where's the poor of